I see you have a similar combat grip. You and I are definitely brothers. And yet... I got all of the strength. You actually think you'll make it through the trial like this? Don't make me laugh, Luger! The trial is cruel. Unbearably cruel. And people are weak. Weak enough to ruin us all. You will come to understand. This is our curse! The gears of fate that grind the curse bind upon us an armor of death. It's a key and a lance that pierces space and time. Souls encircle the throne of the void. The branches of history reach out to infinity. You alone must make the decision, brother. Everything rides upon this one choice. Not just your life, but the fate of the entire world. Do you have what it takes to destroy, to choose, to pass the trial? Answer me, Luger Krasnick! Oh, crap! Cutting it a bit close, don't you think? Need I remind you that this is the Spurious Corporation's entrance exam? Don't call me that. Not today. Today, I'm your proctor. Family ties won't earn you a passing score, so set them aside. dreamt that I killed you? Well, if you keep decimating my supply of tomato cupcakes, perhaps that dream will come true. Huh? Kidding. Anyway, time to wake up and smell reality. Let's begin, shall we? You'll be tested here, in the underground training area. These caverns stretch all the way to Triglef city limits. You could head straight out of town from here. I wouldn't, though. It's an automatic fail. Here, your weapons. Hmm, I see you have a similar combat grip. We're definitely brothers. <laughs> the exam is live combat. Slay five of the monsters lurking in the training area and return before your time runs out. Spurious is not liable for any injuries sustained during the exam. 
But just between us, if things go bad, I've got your back. You're my brother. Thank me later. Here they come. Hold it together now. Remember your fundamentals.
monsters have been dispatched. The candidate has completed the assignment. I say killing the monsters was the whole test? I'm grading you even now. But... <coughs> What'll it be, Luger? Couldn't make a decision, could you? I figured as much. Luger Kresnik, you failed. I... Downstairs, after him. Your pocket watch. Elle, you know how to read a clock, right? You need to get on the 10 o'clock train leaving from Triglyph Central Station. From there, head to the land of Canaan. To Canaan? It's a place where any wish can be granted. It's where you and I can finally live in peace. Place that grants wishes? You must go there, no matter how frightening it may be. Okay, I promise I'll go. Hurry! Get to the train, and then to Canaan! Shoot him, now! I'll meet you there, I promise! Daddy! Damn it, she got away! It doesn't matter. He's the key. What the?
Hey, Luger, you alive in there? Chop, chop. Sleeping in on your first day of work? Smooth move. Somebody's ready for a pep talk from his brother. <coughs> really? I, uh, didn't think you were gonna say yes. You're gonna make a great chef someday, so give each meal your all. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. Anyway, I know they're gonna love your cooking at the station cafeteria. I eat it, and I haven't died yet. <coughs> Looks like Rolo's hungry too. Let's eat. What's the special today, chef? So, trying to butter me up with tomatoes, huh? I'm onto your tricks. Doesn't mean it won't work. And how about you, Rolo? Fancy some deep-fried canary, maybe? Or how about some Diet Kitty crisps? Gotta lift you from the knees, big boy. Top story. Production will begin today at the Oscor plant, a joint venture between the government and the Spurious Corporation. The plant's projected output surpasses that of any other facility in Olympias. Industry leaders have high hopes that Oscor's output will stabilize Olympias's food supply. To commemorate the occasion, a ceremonial train will depart from Triglev Central Station at 10 o'clock today. The cream of Olympias will be on hand, including Spurious CEO Beasley Bakur. A ceremonial train, huh? And it leaves right from your new workplace. How's that for a perk? <laughs> Say, I should really give you something to celebrate your new job, shouldn't I? This old hunk of junk? Hey, if it's a watch you want, I'll spring for a new one. Well, how about a nice necktie instead? You'll be dealing with all sorts of folks at the station, you know. Gotta look sharp. Whoops, I gotta run. Catch you later. You should go, too. A train station employee running late is a pretty big faux pas. You're the one who wanted to cover this event, Leia. Balin had to call in some favors just to get you a ticket. Me? I can't write the article for you. Besides, I don't even know which train they're using for the ceremony. Hey! Great. She hung up on me. 
Now what am I supposed to do? Well, yeah, sure. If you don't mind, thanks a lot. You're a lifesaver. A friend just left me in the lurch. trains, huh? Thanks. I owe you one. Sure. I've been to Triglef a bunch of times, but somehow I still always manage to get lost. <laughs> How about you? Were you heading to the station too? going on a little field trip. I was invited to the opening of the Oscorp plant. Wow. Oh, I'm not some great scientist or anything. I was only invited because an acquaintance of mine is involved. So, as a cafeteria insider, any takeout options you could recommend? Hmm. I've heard the Triglef tri-tip is something of a local delicacy. There. So that's the ceremonial train. Oh, what's that? Ooh. Is that it? Yes, sir. A message from Vice Director Rideau. Suspicious activity observed in Crown. Please take caution. <laughs> He's going to attack us here. This will be some celebration. We have been expecting you, Mr. Bakur. I'm happy to say our departure is right on schedule. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I really appreciate it. but I'm busy here. If she's lost, take her to the station office. Sir, you'll need to follow me to the station manager's office. This young lady just told me you tried to lure her out of the train station.
Hey, you're not going anywhere. I don't know what you want with that girl, but resisting arrest will only make things worse for you. What's going on here? That little girl over there said this guy tried to kidnap her. <laughs> Impressive, Dr. Mathis. Were those Rize Maxian martial arts? My security team could learn a thing or two from you. Then again, my security team can't channel spirits the way you Rize Maxians can. I'm just glad we were both on the same car. You know, you're not too shabby yourself. My name is Beasley Bakur. I'm CEO of the Spirius Corporation. Luger Kresnik, huh? You wouldn't happen to be related to Julius Kresnik, would you? Wait, your name is Kresnik? Sir, according to the corporation files, Luger here is Director Kresnik's younger brother. Though they don't share the same mother. That's good to know. So you're a part of the Spirius family, as it were. <laughs> Those Exodus bastards have made their move. Exodus? Terrorists who want trouble between the two nations. They've targeted us for supporting the government's peaceful policies towards Rize Maxia. I have no doubt they plan to ram the train straight into Oscorp. What? Wait, you mean this train? It's not the train. What are you gonna use, your feet? We could if we take control of the engine car. Stop it. This I have to see. I'll help too. I have a stake in this. I'm impressed. My name is Jude Mathis. It's a pleasure to meet you, Luger. Come on!
could anyone do this? anywhere. You better proceed carefully. Hey, Luger, how are you fixed for allium orbs? Uh, I brought an extra one. Take it. You know about allium orbs, right? We've been using them ever since the lilium orbs transmutated. The orb will let us link during battle. When we're linked, we can... Never mind. You'll see soon enough. Time to link up. Flank them. Look out. Try using linked arts. Stay on guard. <laughs> Links sure are useful. Yeah. Ready? Ah! 
Quick, let me explain how to use Allium Orbs to develop your abilities. Lilium Orbs did that too, but these work a lot differently. Hmm? All Lilium Orbs quit working when they were overloaded with mana after the schism was dispelled. But we figured out that by feeding them elemental energy through an extractor, a kind of mana absorption spirix, we were able to resurrect them as Allium Orbs. Our linking and development capabilities were back in business. Uh, sorry for rambling on there. Why don't you just give it a shot? Do we send for reinforcements, sir? Wasting a chance to see the sort of person we're dealing with? Hardly. My watch is gone! Don't wander off, young lady. It's dangerous. I don't care! I gotta find it! I can't get to Canaan without it! Just when things couldn't get more interesting. So, hey. Hmm? Did you know that girl? Is it okay to leave her like that? You? A kidnapper? <laughs> yeah, I don't buy that. Though, if it's true, I'll have to give you some of what those terrorists have coming for them. Huh? Well, I suppose we don't really have time to worry about that right now. Let's get going. I won't hold back. Yeah. 
We're almost at the front car. Be on guard. Got it. Up ahead's the conductor's room. I'll go in first. Meanwhile, you cover me, okay? Don't worry. I'm used to this sort of thing. Odd for a doctor to say, I know. Let's check it out. Right. What are you doing here? I'm doing my job. <laughs> and a thorough job at that. I'd expect nothing less from Crown Agent Julius. You work fast. Enough with the games, Bakur. Who would have known you had such a talented little brother? Aren't you the model sibling? You've protected him well. Of course I did! <laughs> Come now. Are you sure you want him to see this? <laughs> seem to have a knack for encountering weirdness. The Four Great Spirits, the Lord of Spirits, and now this. They're back! All clear, President Verland. Well done, Miss Nova. My security team could learn a thing or two from you. Deja vu. Luger, what are you doing on this train? Friend of yours? An old classmate. Look for Julius. Who's he? Oh, the guy with the glasses? It did seem like he knew what was going on here. I'm coming too! It's too dangerous. Maybe, but I gotta take this train all the way to the land of Canaan. The land of Canaan? From the legend? You've heard of it? Do you know where it is? It's seen in old manuscripts. Manuscripts, huh? Okay, you can come, but when the fighting starts... That's when I skedaddle! Okay, all 
systems go? It's not safe here, so try to stay behind us, okay? Shaking far too much. Let's show him. Hold loose. Is that your cat? Yeah. I thought she was with that girl. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Hey, Elle's all alone, isn't she? I don't recall asking you to care. Huh? Nothing. You know, the way you looked there... It was really freaky. You looked like a bad guy. It reminded me more of a spirit. That wasn't like any spirit I've ever heard of. Spirits are mysterious beings that act as conduits between people and nature. They're rare here on Olympias, but they're quite common where I'm from, in Rizamaxia. Freaky things like that are common? Spirits do command great power, but they're no enemy to us. And I assure you, El. Luger's neither scary nor a bad guy. I mean, he looks after his cat, doesn't he? Is that true? <laughs> I must. Ruger, you okay? Keep it up. Do a Let's do this! Are 
you okay? No injuries? here. don't need to know. I said you don't need to <laughs> know! Luger! <laughs> Ah! This 
Employees like this? Do! Hurry and finish him off! What are you waiting for? You'd spare this monster's life! I know you have a, a kind heart. And that's why. News. The brakes have been sabotaged. Story. Terrorists hijacked a train meant for today's festivities and crashed it into the Oscorp plant. The number of casualties is still unknown at present. Authorities suspect the attack was an assassination attempt conducted by members of Exodus, the terrorist organization that opposes peace with Riza Maxia. They're calling it an assassination attempt. Nasty business. Well, to you, I'm the man who saved your lives. That's all you need to know, really. Mr. Rideau? How are Luger and Elle coming along? Oh, you're awake. Any aches or pains? The treatment worked without a hitch. For both of them, I might add. Wow, Spirius's medical agents really are tip-top. I'm flattered by the compliment, truly. But our medical Spyrix are simply superior to your spirit arts, that's all. Uh, Leia? 
No, no, don't worry, I'm fine. I better take this. Sorry to interrupt all the excitement, but the bill for your medical treatment comes to 15 million gold. What? Oh, it might sound excessive, but can you really put a price on saving a life? But I don't have any money at all. With the proper work ethic and a bit of elbow grease, anyone can make money if they try, even you. Being a child is hardly a valid excuse. Whoa, don't tell me you're resorting to literal strong-arm tactics now. Really, Luger, you'll need to behave better if you plan to fit in around here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. Riddell. Ah, perfect timing, Miss Nova. This woman works for Verland Bank. Luger, what are you doing here? Is this loan for you? It's up to you whether or not to accept it, of course. In any case, we're talking about a small fortune. <laughs> Consider your options. Not to pressure you unduly, but have you reached your decision? <laughs> You've made a wise decision. Are you sure? Sorry about that, the call ran long. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, he's just taking out a little loan to cover his medical obligations. This bill is huge! Did anyone tell you what'll happen if you sign that? Basically, you'll be tracked via GHS. They'll be monitoring your finances around the clock. You won't be able to buy a stick of gum without them knowing. A lot of debtors can't manage their money. Lots of them squander the cash they should be using to pay us back. Those deadbeats waste their money and their lives. But Luger here isn't a deadbeat, is he? That doesn't... Or maybe you're saying you'd like to cover his bill. That's not quite what I was... Besides, not to be gauche, but haven't you sunk every last gold into your spyrite research? Hold on, Luger. There's gotta be another way. Well, you could always try mooching off of a family member, a solidly employed older brother, for example? <clears throat> hey. Pleasure doing business with you. I will transfer the amount of 20 million gold into Mr. Rideau's account. Hey, wait! I forgot to include your veterinary fees. My apologies for the oversight. See me if you ever need follow-up treatment. I'll even give you the frequent patient discount. Luger, please don't look so glum. 
it's my job to help you pay off your loan. That means we're partners now. <laughs>